Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Manchester United and Barcelona are hopeful of reaching an agreement for the transfer of Frankie Dion as he prepares to return from his holiday this week. Manchester United are very close to signing Frankie de Jong. A fee of £69 million is almost agreed. Manchester United expect to complete a transfer for Frankie de Jong by Thursday the 30th of June. By the way, Barcelona wanted Harry Maguire in a swap deal for Frankie de Jong, but Man United rejected Barcelona's request. So it's looking very imminent that Frankie de Jong will be Eric Ten Hag's first signing at Manchester United. Uh, Ten Hag wants a reunion with the player. I think Frankie Dion will address our deficiencies in that midfield. He's a versatile midfielder. Dion has been at Barcelona since 2019. So he's been at Barcelona for around three years. He's under contract with Barcelona until 2026. Barcelona did get him from Ajax, they paid around £65 million. Let me put into the equation, Barcelona have already rejected two offers from Man United for Frankie de Jong. There's a lot of players that Manchester United are linked with. Uh, we've been linked with Christian Eriksen. Revert back to a couple of days ago, it said Christian Eriksen is choosing between Manchester United and Brentford. It said Man United would in pole position to sign Christian Eriksen on a free transfer. Well, Man United said they'd hoped to persuade Christian Eriksen to join them before the new season. Man United have already made initial contact with Ericsson's representatives. Revert back to a few weeks ago, Man United sent scouts to watch Ericsson. Christine Ericsson's contract at Brentford expires at the end of this month. Uh, Ericsson joined Brentford back in January. And when he officially signed for Brentford, he signed a six-month contract. Brentford did get him from Inter Milan before Ericsson played for Tottenham and he was a long-serving player at Tottenham. He was at Tottenham for around, what, a good ten years or so, was it? And he made over 300 appearances and when he was a lot younger, he played for Ajax. Revert back to the Euros. Christine Eriksen collapsed because he suffered a cardiac arrest. Uh, Man United have been heavily linked with Anthony. Uh, the last time I read up, it said Anthony was desperate to join Man United. Um, at the first, it said Ajax were demanding fifty million. Now it said Ajax are demanding up to sixty nine million. The other week, Man United officials arrived in Amsterdam regarding Anthony. Anthony is a winger. Ajax got him back in 2020 on a five-year deal for an initial 13 million, could rise to 18.2 million. Uh, Man United were linked with Urin Timber. But he rejected a move to Manchester United. Uh, Louis van Gaal prevented Ewing Timber's move to Man United. Uh, we've also been linked with Paul Torres from Villarreal. 
So there you go. Uh, Tenag's transfer budget has already been revealed. I think he's got around £100 million to spend this summer, which obviously isn't a lot. Let me put into the equation, Tenag is going to get rid of a lot of players. Well, we have seen players leave on free transfers. Uh, Juan Mata left Man United on a free transfer. Juan Mata did endure around eight years at Manchester United, so reflecting on that, he was a long-serving player. Most of the time, Mata was classified as a squad player because he didn't really get in the team that much. Earlier on this year, Edison Cavani left Manchester United. Uh, not so long ago, Man United confirmed that Jesse Lingard had been leaving. Uh, Paul Pogba, he's leaving Man United on a free transfer when his contract expires at the end of this month. Nemanja Matic has already left not so long ago. Roma announced the signing of Matic on a one-year deal. Matic is now reuniting with Jose Mourinho. Uh, not so long ago, Lee Grant retired. Uh, so there you go. And more players are going to be leaving. Eric Bailly and Axel Tuanzebi are set to leave the club. I think Phil Jones will be leaving this year. Uh, Dean Henderson's on his way out of the club. Well, Nottingham Forest have agreed a deal to sign Dean Henderson on loan. The loan doesn't include an option to buy. At the first, though, it said it included an option to buy for around £20 million. Newcastle have also been in for Dean Henderson. Um, I think there's a good chance that Telez will leave this year. Uh, and Juan Basaka, I think he will leave this year. I heard that Crystal Palace are interested in getting him on loan. Well, Bissaka was at Crystal Palace before he came to Man United. And um, next year, players will be leaving Man United. Um, I think Cristiano Ronaldo could leave next year. He won't leave this year because not so long ago it said Man United expects Cristiano Ronaldo to stay this summer despite Chelsea links. Uh, not so long ago it said Bayern Munich were interested in Ronaldo and Roma are doing everything to sign him. It said not so long ago though that Ronaldo is ready to quit Man United over the lack of progress with transfers. Don't forget Ronaldo's contract at Man United expires next year. There is an option to extend for a further year. Uh, Marcus Rashford, I think next year he could leave if he doesn't pick up form and he doesn't stop getting injuries. He'll stay this year because Rashford's already made it clear that he wants to stay. Uh, not so long ago, he rejected a move to Tottenham. Uh, Rashford's contract at Man United expires next year. Like I said, Rashford's not been the same player since he had that operation on his shoulder. Uh, I think Fred could also leave Man United next year because Fred is not good enough to represent the club. Got my reservations about him. Uh, Fred has played a lot of games alongside Scott McTominay in the centre of midfield and quite clearly they do not complement each other. Lindelof, he's another one who I think will leave next year. Uh, Diego Delo, I think he will leave the club next year. Probably not this year, he'll stay as a backup. And Luke Shaw, you know, if he doesn't improve and he doesn't stop getting injuries, I think he could leave next year as well because Luke Shaw's out of contract next year. 
And Tom Heaton, I'm also expecting him to leave as well. Uh, Tom Heaton's a backup keeper. He's our third choice goalkeeper. Um, Harry Maguire, he will probably leave next year now. I think the only way he'll stay Maguire is if he you know, rejuvenates himself. I thought he was going to be leaving this year, but it said not so long ago that Harry Maguire is now set to stay at Man United. Not so long ago, it said he was set for talks with Eric Ten Hag over the Man United captaincy. Like I mentioned earlier on the video, Barcelona had wanted Maguire in the Frankie Dion deal, but like I said, Man United rejected it. Uh, there's quite a few players that have returned from loan spells. You know, Tuan Zebe has returned to Man United from his loan spell. You know, last season Tuan Zebe was out on loan with Villa. He's enjoyed like three loan spells with Villa. Andres Pereira is now back at Man United. You know, last season he was out on loan with Lazio. I'm hearing that Fulham have reached an agreement in principle for Andres Pereira. Uh, Ahmad Diallo's back at Man United, you know, last season he was out on loan with Rangers. Uh, Facundo Palistri, he's back at Man United last season, he was out on loan. Uh, James Garner, he was out on loan as well last season. So there you go. Eric Ten Hag is Manchester United's manager. And Eric Ten Hag is aware that he's got a massive task ahead of him. And he is also aware that he's got to exceed expectations. Because he knows if he doesn't exceed expectations there's a good chance that he will get sacked. But I've got a lot of faith in Ten Hag because I think he is a good manager. You've got to admire what he did at Ajax because at Ajax he won Eredivisie titles, he won Dutch Cups and revert back to 2019, he got Ajax to the Champions League semi-finals. And he developed the young players well. You know, Ten Hag was the Ajax manager for around five years. Before Ajax, you know, Ten Hag managed Utrecht, by Munich's reserves and go ahead Eagles. This is the first time Ten Hag is managing in the Premier League. And let me put into the equation, at this moment in time, on this squad is Ten Hag. You know, he's inheriting... You know, players that other managers have brought in. And there's a, quite a lot of deadwood in the squad. You know, Ten Hag's first game in charge of Man United is at home to Brighton and Hove Albion on the opening day. Ten Hag attended Man United's final game against Crystal Palace at the end of last season. Um, he is Man United's fifth permanent manager since Ferguson. As you all know, Mitchell van der Gag and Steve McLaren are working alongside Ten Hag. Ten Hag got officially announced as the new Man United manager earlier on this year, he replaced Ralph Rangnick. He's got a contract with Man United till 2025. There's an option to extend for a further year. But um, earlier on this year, Ralph Rangnick left Manchester United. So obviously, 
he said, you know, Rangnick would not take up the consultancy role at Man United. Rangnick actually got appointed in as the new head coach of Austria. He signed a two-year deal. Ralf Rangnick was Manchester United's interim manager for around five months. He only endured one transfer window as Man United's interim manager and unfortunately he didn't get backed in this year's January transfer window. You know, when Rangnick was the interim manager though, to be fair, he did make changes because he recommended Saz Chalenzin as a sports psychologist, he recommended Chris Armisen as an assistant coach and he recommended Ewan Sharpin as an assistant coach and analyst. And at one point, Ralph Rangnick was the head of sports and development at Locomotive Moscow. Manchester United have let five managers go since Sir Alex Ferguson. Uh, after Ferguson, you know, Man United got Moyes, sacked him after like 10 months. Then after that, Man United had Louis van Gaal, we sacked him after like two years. Man United did win the FA Cup under him. And then after van Gaal had Mourinho, for around two and a half, three years, sacked him. Mourinho did win three trophies in his first season. So you can say that he did enjoy one good season at Man United. After Mourinho had Ole Gunnar Solskjaer sacked him after almost three years in charge. Solskjaer got sacked in November last year. Uh, Solskjaer, you know, didn't win a trophy as United manager, but he did get us to semi-finals and he got us to the Europa League final, got us a third-place finish in his first season and a second-place finish in his second full season. So there was some credit to take from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's managerial tenure. And like I said not so long ago, earlier on this year, Ralph Rangnick left Manchester United. Like I said, the Glazers, they've been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time. Like I updated you not so long ago, the Glazers took £11 million out for dividends. For a while now, the vast majority of Man United fans have been protesting against the Glazers. You know, the Glazers have owned the club for around 17 years now, which is a long time, and they purchased the club for around 500 million back in 2005. Uh, not so long ago, I gave you the news on Richard Arnold. Uh, the other week, Richard Arnold spoke to some Man United fans at his local pub in order to stop more protests against the Glazers outside of his home. I've already gone through with you some of the things that Richard Arnold mentioned. He was talking about Man United burning money away in the last five years. He, talk, he spoke about Man United's pursuit of Frankie de Jong. Um, he said money's there to spend this summer for Man United and he said last season was a nightmare. Richard Arnold replaced Ed Woodward back in February. You know, as things stand, Man United have not won a trophy for five years. Man United have only won, what, four trophies in the last ten years. The last time Man United won the Premier League was back in 2013. That's almost ten years ago now. And in the last ten years or so, Man United have spent over £1.3 billion. And Man United have brought over 40-odd players in since Sir Alex Ferguson retired. Uh, last season, Man United enjoyed their worst ever Premier League season in terms of points because last season, Man United finished on just 58 points. Last season, Man United finished sixth. Man United lost the final game against Crystal Palace at the end of last season, but despite that, Man United are in the Europa League for the upcoming season. So anyway, guys, that's everything to update you with. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel if you do. Consider subscribe as always, and take care. God bless. See you all again very soon.